Tell us uh, what you're doing with Maximon, the yeah. company that you've tar started with your partners. Yeah, I mean, I have to say I'm following the whole space even before I explored Bitcoin in 2012. So I got in contact with uh, Aubrey de Grey. That's one of, they call him the godfather of longevity. Back what, what's in, his name? Uh, Aubrey de Grey yeah. in 2009 at the conference. And uh, it's interesting to see how the whole space evolved because 20 years back, it was mainly the futurists and the transhumanists in Silicon Valley talking about immortality and living for a thousand years. And most people didn't really look at them seriously. It was just like these crazy uh, futurists. And then a few years back, you had a quite astonishing technological breakthroughs. So literally only since a few years for the first time in human history, scientists understand why humans age. And that sounds quite silly. But literally for the whole time of human existence, it was not really uh, understood why we age. It was just accepted. You get born and then you get older and at a certain stage you die. But it was not questioned and also not scientifically understood. And that's the big game changer that you nowadays, and we're also in the very early days, for the first time ever have many smart scientists, professors all over the world only focusing on human aging. We're still trying to understand everything, so we're not there yet, but there is now a lot of money and a lot of smart people really focusing on this specific topic. So it moved from the scientific, uh, from the crazy uh, science fiction field into something which is now really scientific uh, backed. And uh, so as far as your involvement in that, what's the mission or what's the strategy of, of Maximon in all of that? I mean, ultimately, we believe that um, aging uh, will, I mean, the definition and also the whole impact of aging will change dramatically in the years to come. Again, because you have now scientists trying to understand why we age and how we can influence aging and optimize uh, the aging process, which has a lot of effects and might be the biggest um, industry to come, right? Because ultimately everybody of us has a certain interest to age in a, in a good and, and a positive manner, right? And I think with Maximum, we try to capitalize on this mega trend. So on the one side, as a company builder, we try to find the best uh, talent, the best researchers who are working and focusing on aging to bring services and products, ideally today to the market, which have a scientific and evidence-backed impact on the human aging. And on the other side, I think most people also forget that literally the life expectancy doubled in the last 100 years. So everybody here lives, lives twice as long than 100 years back. There were a lot of um, breakthroughs in, in medicine and also some uh, improvements uh, in society. Lifestyle. But if you say it's unrealistic that we will all live for 120 healthy years, I mean, go 100 years back and everybody of us would have been already dead, right? So that's also something maybe going back to the other point. If you look at history, I think it's extremely unrealistic that we will not uh, increase our life and health span quite dramatically in the years to come. So is your goal to live to 120? I mean, ultimately, I try to live as long as possible in a, uh, as good as possible health and happiness mode. But I think and that's a more conservative approach if you're uh, looking into the whole longevity space that 110 to 120 healthy years is something quite realistic um, based on the science we have right now. Maybe nothing you hear from uh, politicians yet, because we already have questions and discussions about increasing <laughs> uh, the, the work uh, time by half a year or so. So this will change completely. Macron is having some issues right now. Exactly. On the other side, from a long term wealth perspective, I think it's the best thing um, you can do that you increase the time where people are productive and healthy instead of literally fighting the symptoms of aging when you get old, when you get sick, and then try to somehow extend uh, in a certain way often very miserable um, lifespan. I think that shouldn't be the 
main mission of, of our whole um, health system. And that's unfortunately the case nowadays. You fight the symptoms of aging. So, but then the, the idea, I think you guys mentioned that too on your website, it's not so much about the lifespan, it's more about the health exactly. span. So that's the focus, to live healthy yeah. as long as possible. And, uh, yeah, and, and ideally that, that you, you start uh, yeah. by, by really going to the roots of aging. So by doing quite a few simple things, literally as we speak, you can heavily influence um, your status when you get old. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's also something which is far more tangible than most people think. It's not about what you do when you're 70. It's already what you can do nowadays, which will have a huge impact when you're then uh, older. So, so based on what you know now, I mean, in my view, I, I guess the question is how much of this is, um, first of all, based on genetics mm -hmm. and then also lifestyle, you know, think mindsets, uh, you know, how you, what you eat, your, your nutrition, sleep is very yeah. important, fitness. Um, to what degree can you add to that by, uh, with, with the scientific yeah. elements that you guys are talking about? I mean, honestly, it's, it's changing exponentially, right? I mean, you have nowadays certain treatments which really have a tremendous impact on your age already. Most of these treatments and, and, and uh, products are quite expensive. So like always, you have not a mass market for these solutions yet. So what, what kind of treatments are those? I mean, it starts with uh, simple things like, for example, red light therapy or oxygen chamber, cryo chamber, where you can really measure that it has an impact on your cells. It's not just that you feel better. It's really me uh, measurable. And then it goes further to... Uh, for example, blood cleansing, something most people only hear from when you have uh, intoxication or something, but you can do this mm -hmm. also in a, in a healthy mood with a lot of positive uh, side effects. And then let's say the more extreme uh, route is the blood plasma transfusion, literally close to the vampires, <laughs> which is mostly illegal and also ethically questionable. But these are all things which are happening as we speak and you don't normally read about it mm -hmm. and you can really prove and show um, that it has an impact on your age. So in terms of Maximon, you mentioned the word before, a company builder. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Is that like an incubator approach or what, what Yeah, exactly the terms are, are a little bit blurry. You can call it incubator, venture studio, uh, company builder. What we do, we really start these companies together with other founders and scientists ourselves. Mm -hmm and we finance them up to 10 million ourselves. So before we go out and get additional investors on board, we literally, that's our promise to our founders, we keep the back free. They can fully focus on their business. We help them with everything which is necessary, but maybe not the core competence of passionate founders like bookkeeping, all the legal framework, the funding, so they can really run and focus on their business. And as entrepreneurs ourselves, I think we somehow want to help these uh, new emerging em uh, em entrepreneurs to really focus on their core strength and the core business. So what are the kinds, can you talk about some of the companies that you're now invested in? Or, um, yeah, I mean, we literally, we, we, in the last two years since we launched Maximum, we now have uh, four companies launched. Two of them are operational, generating revenue every day. So our first company, uh, which is live now since roughly a year, uh, is uh, in the supplement field. So we produce and sell supplements which have an impact on the aging of humans and uh, the company is, is, is doing great. We have a month to month growth by uh, close to 30%. have now our first own pot patented supplement on the market based on collagen where we can also based on all kind of studies prove that it has a far higher um, uh, effect uh, on your cells than traditional uh, collagen supplements. It was So what, what does that do? I mean, collagen is one of the main ingredients of, of your cells, right? And the older you get, to really simplify it, the less collagen you have. So at a certain point, it really makes sense to add from external additional collagen, but maybe not as a cream like the beauty industry tries to sell you because that doesn't really help anything mm -hmm. besides mm -hmm. the moisture of, of the cream. But if you take it as a supplement, um, it has really an impact on literally the um, consistency of your cells with all kind of side effects as we might know uh, nails hairs and everything mm -hmm. but these are all just side effects of the general increased health 
of your cells by taking certain of these supplements. Okay. And that's a patented product, basically. That's, this in point. this case, something where there's a professor who researched in Harvard and ETH of Zurich for the last nine years only on, on this specific substance. And we were able to now buy it out of ETH and uh, patent it and bring you the product great. to the Are market. Are you taking that collagen? I mean, that's only existing since I mean, you're weeks, 105 but, uh, years exactly, old. Exactly, so yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> I have tell to say, everyone that so they yeah, know I mean, that it really works. <laughs> I, I would say my, my, because I was completely not into this field, I mean, I was interested, but I was not really mm -hmm. doing anything you should for your health. Supplements for me was only snake oil. But now, as, a, <laughs> as I'm really into the space and see also the science and the studies behind, it's really astonishing what you can do. And I feel a lot of also short term. Effect so you've started some to take these. supplements exactly. actually now with, with the learnings and everything? Exactly. Okay. And I would say in our company, in our group, we are now roughly a little bit more than 40 people. Most of them are naturally quite into their own health. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really astonishing what we see. We do a yearly bio-age test where you can literally uh, measure your biological age. And uh, it's astonishing how you can influence certain elements by lifestyle, certain elements by taking or doing some uh, longevity related treatments. So you it guys really are also helping impact. people in those other dimensions like like fitness and, and exactly. mindset, I don't know, mindfulness. One of our companies is literally offering exactly that. Okay. We take your DNA and uh, we look at your lifestyle, what you eat, what you do, sports, everything. And then you have a global team of specialists based on your DNA and your individual uh, setup, helping you to increase your health and uh, lifespan by sometimes just changing some smaller things in your daily routines. So that's also astonishing. It's hyper personalized. So that's another company. So one exactly. is supplements. One is really more of a holistic approach in terms of lifestyle, I guess. Exactly. I mean, yeah. ultimately based on data and uh, latest science, we can individually guide you okay. into your own longevity journey. So there's like a coaching that goes with it or um, exactly you have yeah. literally like a hyper personalized team of uh, specialists from all over the world from exercise nutrition food sleep that sounds expensive what, so what's what's the uh, i mean that's uh, one of the uh, offerings which are definitely not mainstream yet so this yeah. program costs 25 to 75 thousand a year yeah. which sounds maybe a lot in so the beginning so that's more than a personal trainer that's exactly actually that's there. really it's you have holistic. literally like yeah. So it's a team of Concierge. coaches, kind of. Exactly, yeah. Okay. And I can tell you with this price tag, we're rather cheap because in this target okay. audience, you have a lot of people that have their own medical doctors, medical family office supporting them. I see. So it's an interesting field. Again, something which is quite elite and expensive at the moment. But our thesis is that because uh, literally your DNA, um, it's the same if you're ultra rich or if you're poor it's not different right mm -hmm. so literally mm -hmm. you can have the same indications and same results mm -hmm. at the moment the problem is that it's still quite expensive but i mean we see exponential decrease of all these uh, treatments and ultimately we are in the space to democratize all these developments that's i think also the business case behind going forward what are the other two companies all about and one is building uh, walk-in clinics for longevity treatments so okay. literally the plan is to open the first store here in zurich in july where you can literally book your appointments so there will be uh, maximum walking clinics I exactly i mean it, it, it's called live lounge um, because okay. maximum is only the brand of the group behind and then something we're also working on, which is maybe more the mega trend behind, is that we want to build something we call it the Soho House for elderly. The what? The Soho House for elderly people. So instead of spending Soho your time. Soho House. Soho House. You know the Soho House? No. Yeah, it's like a cool, fancy hotel chain all over the world for okay. a little bit uh, cooler, arty farty audience. <laughs> and uh, we want to build something similar, but for elderly people, because uh, in our existing system, you normally you work, you're retired. I don't know, then you're on the cruise ship for a few years or you don't know what to do. And then you go to your elderly care uh, center. And I think there's a growing number of retired people which are still very healthy, which are really eager to do something, but their needs are not really very well covered. And our idea is to build a hotel chain where you literally have from yoga in the morning, joint opera visits with other peers. So literally an offering for all these people which are still healthy and happy enough to do something 
without uh, working full time anymore before they maybe go the traditional route. So a lifestyle service that is holistic. exactly uh, because okay. we we think the longevity um, developments is is a huge mega trend. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about selling supplements and treatments. It also have a huge impact on literally all mm -hmm. aspects on your life. Right. So that's why um, yeah we're also looking into these uh, elements of the the companies or. I guess you could say even health interventions, you know, that you guys are looking at and that Maximon is now investing in, um, in your view, what's the most promising, you know, in the, in the coming years, maybe also looking ahead a bit further. I mean, the biggest change, which sounds quite unspectacular is really that you look at aging from a preventive perspective, because as I said, in the beginning, our whole system is based on as soon as you're sick, you get mostly for free because you paid for with the whole, uh, uh, I don't know, Krankenkasse uh, system, and right? In Swiss German, flashterly politik. Exactly. You, you, you fighting get the symptoms. The, the yeah. drugs as soon as you're sick, right? right? And the older you get, normally the sicker you get, so the more expensive the whole thing becomes and you have more and more pills and literally 80% of the whole costs in the health system are in the last 18 months of your life, which right. is completely silly, right? Mm -hmm. So literally turning back this system where you think, where you try to identify what you could do now to ideally decrease the chances and the effects of these age-related diseases. I think that is the biggest shift we will see. So that, that's really a mindset change. And I mean, do you see that starting and happening already? Because currently, I mean, if we look at health insurance, if we look at our... Uh, you know, the pharma and medical system, it's, it still seems, to me, it still seems everything going in the same direction of not yeah, really looking at Yeah, it's starting slowly. I mean, when you go to the fitness center now, you get part of it paid by, by the system, right? True, because true. it makes sense that people do sports to mm -hmm. a certain extent. And I think that's, that's the first uh, step, right? I mean, at the moment, you have a whole industry which is quite happy about selling you drugs as soon as you're sick and that's also not a bad thing mm -hmm. but i think if you do the complete calculation you would realize that it's far more efficient to literally try to identify the roots of aging and uh, fight these foundations of aging instead of fighting the symptoms when it's literally already too late that would really be a, a huge change i think um really the impact that that could do. And I think that's also where self-responsibility and everything should, yeah, should be brought Yeah, to a certain extent. And, I mean, uh, you yeah. can say if you're sick and uh, at a certain age based on your lifestyle behavior, it's quite unfair that everybody has to pay for that, right? I mean, mm -hmm. if you, I mean, okay, as a smoker, you pay a high taxes, but at the end, I think this will never refinance the costs you will generate in your latest phase of your life. Mm -hmm. So the system is, is, is completely unfair, right? So in terms of Maximum's contribution to that change of mindset, what are the projects or, or um, ideas that you have in that regard? I mean, we are um, talking to quite a few governments and politicians, honestly, and there are some countries which are definitely understanding what's happening, because also from a government perspective, it's far better to have healthy and productive older people than everybody in sick care at the end of the life, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it needs some time because it's still this misperception that meaning longer means overpopulation, means more waste, means uh, inefficiency is, is completely wrong, right? I mean, also it's when also you look at... It's also the whole social security exactly, system. Exactly, you have to change lopsided. many things, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, our whole social security system is also based on a life expectancy which just increased by more than 20 years in the last few years mm -hmm. so the whole model is completely outdated mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and some of these numbers are also mani manipulated right because it would even need further commitments from the workforce to extend this span where you work to literally be able to finance this gap right can you talk about which countries are open to those ideas at this point I mean, you have in this field literally two countries which are definitely ahead of the curve. One is Singapore. Singapore. And the other one is funnily Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has in the health minister uh, had a sub-responsible uh, person for wellness and longevity. And they also, you can uh, Google it, they uh, last year announced a new initiative where they allocate one billion per year to extend the health span and longevity of their people because the problem of some of these 
rich countries and the worst example is the US, right, where the life expectancy is literally decreasing since a few years because you have obsessity and all these kind of lifestyle related uh, sicknesses in the age. So you have so to I wasn't I wasn't aware of that. So life expectancy in the US has started yeah. to, to so currently what is it? Um, for for males, how much how high is it? I in mean, the US? I know that in Switzerland it's uh, 71 years healthy and then roughly 13 years in a non very healthy mode. So 84. Okay. And we try to shrink these 13 years mm -hmm. by ultimately extending the health span as a side effect. I think you will also live longer than the 83 uh, three years on average. Mm -hmm. And Switzerland is already quite on top. I think Japan, Switzerland. Doing quite well. Yeah. Finland there on top. And in the US that has started yeah, to change. Yeah, massively, changes. massively. For they were both, already for both uh, genders? Yes, for yes. So men and, and women are Exactly, and the big part is, is, is uh, the whole sugar intake, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of lifestyle elements. I mean, it's not that big and, and a bad uh, also health system in general, which also mm -hmm. doesn't help. Mm -hmm. But in the US it's quite dramatic and it also generates What about a countries lot of like cost. China? Because they have an obesity problem as well, right? I think in yeah. China, part of the culture <coughs> is um, if you're fat, you're rich. And so there, there's some yeah. issues there when you come from a, you know, being a rural society, going to an urban society. I think that has been a huge problem for them. Uh, yeah, and in general, you have these transitions. I, I mean, I would also say that a few years back, it was like a show of uh, wealth uh, that you were definitely Obese. not too slim, right? <laughs> and that's maybe also changing. And I think... Ultimately, I think people are now realizing that some of these lifestyle uh, behaviors are maybe socially accepted, but definitely not good for the, your long-term health, right? Mm. And that's why, I mean, it goes in both directions, right? Also, right. just understanding that food is literally the fuel of your body. So depending on what you eat, it has so many effects on everything in your daily life, from the mind to your body to your health. I think these are all things which are now definitely changing, right? Mm -hmm. Very interesting. I'll have to look into. I've always been a bit suspect, you know, of um, or suspicious of, of supplements. You know, I think it's um, every body is so different. And actually, if you lead a healthy lifestyle, I think that that makes a big difference. But um, yeah, I'll definitely look into uh, some of the things. I mean, that you, you should. I was doing. also very skeptic, and mm -hmm. now purely based on science and, and, and numbers and studies. It's really astonishing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there are quite a few scientists who say it will be in a few years from now quite normal that the government gives you certain supplements for free mm -hmm. just because uh, like other services, it increases the general well-being and, and the health of a society. Right. And uh, I mean, that's still a future project but I think we will look back because some of these supplements even if you do everything right in your daily uh, routines with food and sports you can't just replicate in your body mm -hmm. so you need to mm -hmm. take it from the outside as an additional supplementation mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm.